joining us by phone. Uh, Ara, what are the protesters telling you there today? Hi, Randy. Well, I'm actually uh, at the demonstration that Ben was just referring to, taking place in front of television. I just met a journalist who used to work for one of the state-controlled newspapers. He was telling me that he resigned two weeks ago, fed up with corruption. When he saw these demonstrations taking on the life that they did, he decided that it was time for him to forego the fact that he had taken this job, even though he knew that his journalistic principles would have been compromised. He took it just to feed his family, but now he is saying he is joining the demonstrators in full swing. Around an hour ago, we saw the crowd here swelling towards, pushing up towards against the barbed wire fencing that has been set up in front of the building, the state television building with all the Ministry of Information. They actually brought that barbed wire down. It would have been a perfect opportunity for them had they chosen to do so to storm the building. However, what we saw was that they immediately pulled it back up and all of them broke into a chant of peaceful, peaceful. And then they formed something of a human chain to prevent the other masses from swelling towards the building, also chanting, we are one with the military. We also saw a large plastic Egyptian flag, calligraphy on it, made out of the images of those who people told us were martyred, killed in these demonstrations. We met one woman sobbing on top of this plastic flag on the ground. Her son was one of the dead, she said, but now she was crying for everybody, for all of her children of Egypt, she said, that have died for this cop branding. And Ara, I can hear the passion behind you, yet you're saying that they are yelling, uh, chanting peaceful. Yet a lot of the protesters who, who said they would show up uh, today had said to expect, expect bloodshed, and some had even said that they were willing to die. Uh, is that the sense that you get from them today, even though at least until this point, things are peaceful? Yeah, Randy, people out here most definitely appear to be willing to sacrifice everything. They've come so far. They've really, in some ways, achieved so much already. Many people are stunned by the fact that what started out something of an internet call over Twitter and Facebook has now morphed into the unthinkable, the possible downfall of President Mubarak. Many people after his speech yesterday were expressing their sheer horror and anger. We could see their crestfallen faces. Many were crying. Today what we're seeing, what we're hearing is that that anger in their voices appears to have morphed into an even greater determination to ride this out. So many people saying to us that they are not going to allow those who have died to die in vain, Randy. All right. Ar Arwa Damon for us uh, outside to hear square. Thank you, Arwa.